from the great halls of their house, there are assembled three who hope to one day be the world's greatest driving heroes. Created from the cosmic legends of the universe comes our team captain, the Vision, Bill Fisher. Their soon-to-be Wonder Woman, Vicki Fisher. Our Captain Marvel and head flight trainee, Jennifer Scripchuk. And our Batman, the master of tools, gadgets, and all things mechanical, our mild-mannered soon-to-be billionaire, Alan Danvers. Their mission, to fight injustice, share what is right and wrong, to get you out of your house and come out racing with them, and serve all mankind. They are the Garage Heroes in Training Team. Dominating with Dawson. Captain's Log Supplemental. So, Miss Vicky. Yes, sir. Do you remember when we were watching those WRL events and some of those Grid Life events where you used to see the in-car video and it had like the, the cameras seeing front and back, but it also could see all the telemetry and everything that was going on? Mm-hmm. You know, most of the ones that we liked were taken by the Sentinel system. Remember James came on our podcast earlier? Right. You know, we have no excuse since he uh, lent us one for trial and demonstration purposes. We should actually probably put that in one of our cars. Maybe two. I really think we should. I think we should. I know. Because then we'd look like the uh, immature endurance racing team that we are. Oh, wait, I mispronounced that, didn't I? Sorry. My bad. <laughs> We could so what have, does the Sentinel system do? We could have three cameras with picture in picture. We could have, if we ever get the AIM system to work, open invitation to anybody from AIM to come on and give us a little bit of love. We need some help. Um, and then we could have all our telemetry on there. And then we can have it streamed live into the paddock or around the world to our millions of fans. We're apparently very popular in Kenya right now. Don't know why, but that's fine. <laughs> And it can integrate all the uh, available race statistics from like race here and everything. So we could actually see how we're doing on video. We wouldn't even have to carry around our phone anymore. Live. I, I love it. Mr. Ben Dawson, I have a uh, an idea that we might even be able to do a dominating with Dawson. Oh yeah, tell me, tell me more. Well, Mister Dawson, we have an upcoming HPDE event for my Good. lovely, beautiful bride, Miss Vicky. Good. And I thought, between you and I, we could yeah. come up with something, talking to her about it, to perhaps help her overcome some of her driving issues or challenges. Opportunities, I think I heard you say. I said opportunities, obviously. Yeah, this yeah. is a this is a no bathtub goal episode. So. <laughs> That's right. So so Miss Vicky. Yes. You have an HPD coming up. Mm-hmm. Where? Actually, by the time we get done and post this, it'll probably be already passed. But you've been to the track. Yes. You know the track well. Yes. We're going yeah. to NJMP. NJMP okay. New Jersey Motorsports Park on Lightning. The uh, dong, dong, the dong. race in, race in the dong, race in the dong. Nice. Ding it's dong. always better to go there in the winter because the track is shorter. Oh, so... <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> judging though. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, everybody gets a set of equipment and they get to do whatever they want with it. Shrinkage, <laughs> baby, shrinkage. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so Ben, I, I know you've listened to some of our our trials and tribulations on on track sure if if you were to uh to think about what miss vicky could do perhaps a drill or perhaps a goal or or something to play with what would be one or two or three things that you think may be helpful for her that we could we could implement during the weekend because she'll have eight different sessions on track so should be plenty of time out there gotcha i um you know, I think, uh, are you going to have somebody in the car with you, Vicki? This time around, I would like to have somebody in the car with me. I'll even take my husband in the car with me. 
Oh, wow. 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 Okay. We must be desperate. Uh, well, um, so I'm uh, going to give it a oh, shot again. Yeah, that's great. I, I, I love to hear it. Can't wait to hear how that goes. I know it's going to be nothing <laughs> but peaches, peaches and cream. Um, but I, uh, I want to say right off the bat, if, if this is, if, you know, somebody, we're using you as, a, as an example, Vicky, but anybody who's going to be kind of trying this approach to, uh, sort of organizing goals for their time on track rather than just open lapping. I think that's kind of what we're talking about. Do I understand mm-hmm. that right, Bill? Yeah, so, you know, much. especially if, you know, if you're going to be somebody who, if you're going to have somebody in the car with you and it's a, you know, a fairly good instructor, go ahead and get them in on the program. Feel like, Hey, you know, it, it may not be something where you set out eight separate goals and every session you go out and do something about that goal. You just want to give yourself time to revisit. So what I would suggest for you, Vicky, is to pick a goal a day. So mm-hmm. on Saturday, Saturday, we're going to focus on this thing. And then we're going to put that to bed. And then Sunday, maybe come back and try something else. What do you think, Bill? It, I'm always, uh, you know, at most three goals a session, but I really like one or two. I, I don't know if, if one a day is kind of pushing it. But I, I think if you're, if you go in with one for a day and you get it, kind of under your belt i'd kind of vote for let's move on to something else or let's sure. go a little further but, but at, at least one have, a day for sure you want, you want to have several in the gun and i think uh, at the level vicky's driving where uh, my understanding is we're still sort of floating in the corners and you know i, I mean i think you could make one one thing is a, a goal a day and if you suddenly start nailing this definitely move on but you know one of the goals i'd pick for vicky a day is drive all the way to the into the to the beginning of breaking with your foot all the way on the floor and then mm-hmm. immediately snappily change from accelerating to braking with no downtime and, and get it timed right. You know, and once you're fully doing that and doing it over and over and over again, every place on the track where there's accelerating, uh, you know, then you, then I'd say you can move on to something. But I mean, for, from just listening to us talk, it seems like getting some of the rhythm stuff down and getting some of the timing stuff down uh, that you need to be faster and safer eventually is still something that needs to be developed. So, you know, I, I would set yourself a couple of fairly simple goals, but things that have to get have to be knocked out. I mean, these are things that you have to get down. You know, eventually, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. and especially with the help of somebody in the car helping you at that time. And you know, I, I, I'm always in the car with somebody, like going down the back stretch of, of course, VIR. You know, most cars can break way later than they think they can because the braking is an uphill zone. You know, you know, you don't really have to. The, the break zone is longer than they think because the numbers start way back from where you actually really need to start slowing down. So I'm always telling people, I'll let you take your foot off the gas at this number, whatever it is. You know, we sort of figured it out. But I'm like, I'm like, stay on it, stay on it. And so if you have somebody in the car, you say, it, put, keep your foot down. Don't take your foot off. I'll tell you when you, I'll tell you you can take your foot off. Mm-hmm. You know, that 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 person can help you be a timing and accountability partner. You know what I mean? Yes. It's always something what we think we're doing in the car might not match what the person in the car with us is observing. So I, I think it's great that you're going to have somebody in the car with you, get them in the game. And, you know, if, if Bill or whoever the person who's helping coach you is, is like, oh, yeah, suddenly you've got this basic fundamental thing down, then, you know, then move on to the, to, the, to the next thing, which I would say for you, I would I would work on driving all the way to the end of the straightaway, transitioning to braking. That would be number one. And then number two for you, I would say uh, timing a turn in. So once you've done that, Chris turn in at the right time that where we don't have to do any kind of feathering of the throttle or, or anything like that. We just want to get some, some very basic input things down uh, first. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you, if you guys are rocking and rolling on the first day, get, you know, so you, we get you driving all the way to this end the, to the end of the straightaway and then, you know, a good, decent start to breaking, you know, a good transition there. Then you move on to your turn. In, you know? Right. You so, know, and the, and the, and, go ahead. I was just going to say, so, so Vic, you you're going into this event, do you, do you have anything in your mind that you want? Is this going to be a a fluffy HPDE? Or are you going to approach it like we did at Grid Life, where you were? No, kinda... I have a couple of things that I need. Uh, I definitely need to have somebody in my right seat this time around, mm-hmm. and I need to have somebody who is going to push me through my braking zones. Mm-hmm. Um. So that is is kind of key for me, and um, I think just kind of maybe not so much working on my line because because you know I can get those about ninety percent of the time, and I going in and out. I know when I screwed up. I know when I screw up going into it, um, and then I just try to self correct all the way around. Um, 
It's that 10% that'll get you that pick. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 90s, I know. 90s it's, not it's, 90. You know. No, I mean, it's like when I know that I've, when I, when I haven't done it right, but it would be nice to have um, somebody in the seat next to me to help me with those things that I don't know. You don't this know person, what you don't know. This person is going to orient and enable you at a good right. point in your, in your driving career. So it's going to help you kind of get reoriented and, and see like, oh, here's kind of some, some next steps of things that I can get away with. Right. Yes. Because I, I think that my plateaus are bad habits. Yeah, so they are. I need somebody, I need somebody to point out those bad habits and, yeah. and to say, these are what you should be working on to correct. Yeah. So, in, in most cases, uh, a good instructor like, uh, like Bill, or of course, like me, is going to take the approach of not necessarily don't do this, don't do this, don't do this, but more so, hey, guess what? Here's what you can do. You're doing this right. now, but you can actually do this. You know, you, we could right. we can get you going fast enough out of the corner that you're shifting into, into fourth gear here instead of way down here. Right. You know what I mean? You'll you'll see some some immediate benefits from starting to piece right. more and more stuff together. So I, I hope you won't go into the weekend thinking it's going to be like a a whole big series of scoldings. It's going to be a good cheerleading type. Yeah, of I, I think I think that 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 is what the sensitivities are between me and my husband. When, you know, because the touchy parts of it, and I think it's the approach, it's like, well, try this instead. Try this instead of, of browbeating a little bit or like, instead of having a negative approach, it's like, you know, you're doing this wrong, this wrong, this wrong, this wrong, and this wrong, and this wrong, and this wrong. Yeah, you know, yeah. instead, <laughs> instead, maybe to approach it as here's what I'm seeing. How about try this and see if this yeah. improves your racing? Try yes. this instead. Yes, yeah, good, good suggestions. Here's what you could try. You know, do you guys remember that Tesla song? Signs, signs everywhere. Signs. Right. Bill's like, Bill's like, do this, don't do that. Can't you see the line? <laughs> Yeah, I was just tell I was just called Bill today. I think it was the other day, and I'm like, "You're such a Debbie Downer because you just find the 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 the, the sad stuff to look at. Let's look at the happy stuff. Let's look at the happy things." Well, so, you have to do something be- well for me to see it. <laughs> I fixed oh, the lift. <laughs> At, at, the, at the track, we should be we should be uh, lifting each other up and right. Each other. That's it, what I'm saying. Really- and, well, and that. Walk that in with a works. very positive, energetic attitude. Yeah, and that approach works for most people. And I've had some people here like, no, like, no, like hammer me, you know, like tell me what I can do, like all the time. It just, it, the approach needs to vary with some folks. Mm-hmm. But overall, you can't go wrong with a positive, uplifting, cheerleading approach, which is what I'm sure Bill is going to adopt for Max. <laughs> I, I Have like, you tried this? I will like to defend myself. In that, okay. in that oh. uh, perhaps uh, my beautiful bride takes <laughs> things a bit negative. Okay. Uh, all right. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm somebody who, you know, you can't call me out in the slightest degree without me turning into a puddle. Like, I will run away and hide and try and hide and try. Even if you're just like, then can you turn the hot water? I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I get it. I totally get it. I think it's just a marriage thing. So. Yeah. It's that- <laughs> If, if anything I've figured out in marriage is your tone matters a whole your lot. Your tone <laughs> matters. It does. Yeah. I'm always very much like, let's, let's start off the day with a positive attitude. Let's, let's just positive things. So start off sure. the weekend positive. So and I'm, that I'm carries that. the day. It I'm carries hearing that loud day. and clear for you. I'm hearing that, that, that what you need is positivity. I, I'm hearing that. And I think Bill is hearing it too. The smile on his face tells me that, listener, you can't see this smile, but it's there. And it, it tells me that, that Bill, Bill hears it too. And he's just excited. Is it, so when is this thing coming up? Uh, Eight days, 10 days? 10 November days. 3rd. Gotcha. gotcha. Yeah. So about, we have, about two weeks. Yeah, we have a couple of things we have to do. Um, but for the most part, I don't think it's terrible at all. What, what car are we taking? Ah. Uh, Oh gosh! <laughs> so we're choices. taking we're taking a few cars this weekend. Yeah. Gotcha. Good. Good. So apparently uh, it's going to be quite a shindig. So we're bringing extra. 
Mm-hmm. Nice. nice. We're, um, we're somewhere between five and six cars this weekend. Jesus. How we have people that? that are going to, well, we're taking two, but we have people who are going to drive gotcha. some of the other vehicles. Yep. Yeah. It's going to be a real bonanza. Huh? Hopefully. That's the goal. Um, I don't know anything about it. He refuses to tell me. <laughs> I so uh, back to back to goals. We've talked and we've touched on it. We kind of talked about setting goals for for sessions and that sort of sort of thing. And I think you know uh, the goals might be different for Vicky versus somebody who's been riding around like in you know doing nothing but doing NASA's uh, advanced uh, group, whatever that's called, like Red Group or whatever, uh, uh-huh. for a long time. You know that person. That person might be like, hey, you know, I had my data on. I've always done pretty well here, 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 but I've always had a tough time this corner so this session i'm gonna go out working on trying this approach you know for this corner and just see what my data shows you know i mean you can kind of get down to a micro level at a certain level of driving where you're watching your data and you're like i want to micro focus on this thing this thing and this thing but i I kind of set some uh, you know a couple of really big broad goals for you vicky because i think there's some of that stuff you're still trying to nail down if i'm yeah if i'm right I, i i just know that i that i have developed some habits along the way and mm-hmm. I need those pointed out right. of ways to do better. Um, so right. go ahead. Are you planning on using data this weekend or are you not using it this time? On that particular weekend, data would be nice, but I would probably still like to start off maybe, maybe data and then have a seat, a person right seat me, and then do data again. I would keep somebody in the car all weekend. Yeah. If, if you can. Have, some, have somebody in there the whole weekend if you can't. Okay. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. I, I understand that, that, but I would do that later. I, if, you know, because you guys get the DEs so infrequently, relatively. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, would try to, I would try to maximize on having the, the opportunity to have somebody in the car with you that can help you, uh, you know, get up to speed, help you get more confident. You know? that, yeah. Yeah. What about uh, then? Then that sh- I shall do. What yeah. about uh, you right seating with somebody else in the car? Rides are very good. You yeah, should ride as much as you can. Of course. Um, I-, I got my motion sickness pills. Yeah, there you go. <sighs> I'm ready. Good. Taking so, on Dan's a try. So we'll try to get somebody to drive your car. So you could compare what you do versus what they do, perhaps? Yes. That's very yes. valuable. Yeah, it's very valuable to have somebody jump in. The thing you're driving, go, hey, here's how I do it. And sometimes <laughs> might be like, oh, yeah. crap, I can, I can do this, this, and this. Yeah. All right. So we got data. We got uh, right seat, both you and an instructor. Um, do you have any specific goals you'd like to do for that weekend? Do you want to learn uh, a again, car? It's... Do you want to learn... Uh, what do you what are you thinking well i i personally um of course would like to take some spins in the fit but i really have to learn how to do the bmw because if i'm if i'm right if i if i'm going to be hopping in and our plan for vir and to do aer then i have to get comfortable just the m3 or the e46 uh 330 yeah, eight forty six though. Oh man, that thing's gonna be uh, really fun to learn. Yeah, so hopefully. The, okay, so you got M- a new car. Yeah, old track. Mm-hmm. Instructor and you in the right seat. Yes. And maybe even look at data. Yeah. That sounds like a full weekend, and Ben's got you know at least one goal per day. Yeah. What about, uh, do you have any sections of the track or, or parts of the course that are you been giving you trouble, trouble before? You feel less confident uh, Yeah, than um, on that particular one, seven usually gets me. Um, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because just try it. Because you, I think it, I think with seven is that sometimes I'm, I'm like in between gears when I run that. And then it's just such a, a short straight Longer with a late think. turn. With a it's, late turn. To me, that's just a 90 degree left hand turn at high speed. It's it's nothing. Yeah, but it's a late turn. And if you don't do it just right, then you risk going off track right there at the end. Okay. Where um, is your turn in point? Well, I'm just saying that's that's I'm I'm just asking. Where's your in your I, head? Where's your turn in point? I 
I try to take it as late as possible, but I know that I chicken out. Okay. So what so, is your turning point? I like, don't know do you, what do my you, turning point is. That could be part of the problem is what I was trying to get to. Well, oh. I don't I don't know how to answer that. Do I are you talking about a board? Board? Where I turn at? I, I try to turn the at the three, but I That's try to turn point. at the th I, I try to turn I try to turn in at three because any later I chicken out because you know I'm going down that that long straight or that short straight so fast that I end up coasting a little bit towards the end and then take it into three but but listen I would rather I would really rather instead of discussing how I do that with having a coach in the car because that's the whole problem. I don't really know what I'm doing wrong there. I just know that I panic towards the end when I turn in. So I would like to, I mean, regardless, I would like to work on seven mm -hmm. with somebody in the car. Um, the end of the straightaway into one. That's a yes. fast turn, right? Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that it's it's a slight. If I if I catch it, it's slight up, right? It's uphill on camber. Just a little bit, it's you know. But still, I think. I don't have enough confidence just at that that very end because I have to, I have to keep telling myself that I'm compressing the car because it's going up, which means that I have more grip to take that turn. Right. But I have to mentally tell myself that, you know, constantly when I'm in there and I still feel like I chicken out. So trying trying to get to where those points are, if I have somebody in the car would yeah. be better because I never had anybody really in the car to show me how to do it. Yeah, you need a pusher. You need somebody in there to be like, all right, here, you right. Can and do, I you did can, it. Right, you can do this in turn one. And they're like, oh, yeah, let me try it one time. And we didn't die. It's like, okay, I'm going to even try and, it. And you know what? To be honest, I think from HPDE one, I don't think I've ever had anybody in the car with me on that track. Well, yeah, you. But that was not like, well. That did not go well. It doesn't sound like, that didn't sound like she counts that, Bill. So. I, know. I know. I'm know. I'm just a nobody here. You know, we're taking taking another crack at it. It's a clean start at NJMP yeah. for turn seven for Bill yeah. for Vicky. Jesus, I feel like I'm going to end up in a bad tub tonight. I think so. I think <laughs> I'm going to go with Audra. So you know, somebody likes me. <laughs> okay, sounds like we've got uh, an entertaining weekend. Yeah. yeah, well, can't wait to hear how this comes out of you still speaking to each other. But <laughs> we're not you know to what? Start. We're, we're listen. We are going to take a spin, and we're going to see how it goes. Yeah. Okay. If not, I have other coaches that'll be there to hop in with me. That's great. Keep somebody. Keep somebody yeah. in the car. Keep somebody in the car every right. session. Take as many rides as you can. Your car, cooler cars, whatever. <laughs> right. Especially, especially if you can get in somebody else's car. With if we've conquered this, you can't right seat thing. That would be tremendous for you. Yeah. Take some Zofran. Get in the car. Exactly. Yeah, I have it. I have some stuff. Yep. Got another box of it sitting here somewhere. So well, it it's 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 quality, not quantity. Don't make her take all of it at one time. <laughs> you should just be sitting on the side of the track. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very stable. Very stable tummy though. Exactly. Nope. Can't get sick if you can't roll over. That's right. <laughs> Trying. <laughs> All right, very well. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Thank you.